Myra from Spokane. This actually is for, for either one or both of you guys. Um, obviously, coming off a tough loss last week, Coach Norvell said he was pleased by the way what he saw in practice this week, especially by Wednesday. He thought you guys really kind of kind of found like lifted spirits and had a really good practice. What was the key to that? Because um, you know, a lot of teams might have been really down and not had a hard time coming through that. Um, it's never about the opponent for us. It's always about us. And that's one thing Coach Norvell preaches. I'm um, just doing your job, you know, individually doing your job and one of your one-on-one. All right, we're going to go to Kurt Wattler from the Democrats. Uh, Keyshawn, we'll, we'll go to you again. Uh, Jordan and really the spark he was able to bring to the offense tonight. I guess it just felt almost different, especially once things got rolling as he got in the game. I guess what can you speak to about kind of what he brought to the offense? Yeah, he's electric. Uh, he's been doing that week in and week out for us. And uh, he approaches the work. The same reason every day. He just comes to work to go to work every day. And I'm proud of him, man. He deserved everything he got there today. And uh, we look forward to going to work with him uh, the next week. Corey Clark. Uh, hey, Asante, I, I wanted to ask you about um, the, the pick. What were you doing on that play? What was your coverage on that play? And also, another question I know you're not on the field with him, it's a whole different side, but what kind of juice? Did even the offense moving the ball like that with Jordan, what kind of juice did that give the defense to see that? Uh, it gave um, the defense tremendous juice just seeing them guys go out there and execute like they do in practice. And um, it was just good to see and we had been built up the uh, momentum they were giving us. And then on the interception, what was the play on the interception? Oh, uh, they were doing deep crossing routes and we was in cover two and they did a hard play action. So I just, um, I seen the, uh, the over route coming across and I just got depth trying to find work. And just doing my one eleven. I couldn't have did it without the, the, the D line and the linebackers though. And the other DB. Um, Asante, I guess, I mean, from, from the start, the defense got to kind of the transition to where you almost entirely kept them off the board in the second half. I guess, what do you think was the biggest difference? Was there a come together moment on the sideline or in the locker room, or is it just a, do you think a more collective effort together? Uh, we just had to settle down and um, see where they were trying to attack us because they, this was their first game. So we didn't know what to expect, but we just, um, we just got to go out there and execute our plays and we kind of settled down after halftime, and then the offense score out the back that just gave us tremendous momentum. Keyshawn, this one's for you. What is it like being a receiver when Jordan Travis is out there? Obviously, he extends a lot of plays with his feet, but what do you guys do when trying to figure out, do I engage as a blocker? Do I keep the route going? Just what is that like in real time? When being a football player, I think with either quarterback out there, you got to be a football player regardless. Um, with him, man, he uses the speed. He's, he's a dual threat, so you got to respect the speed, man, and you know, just block for him on the perimeter. That's, that's big for us. Like I said, just, just doing our job, doing, doing my one eleven, doing my job each and every play. You know, that's key to that was the key to the victory. Um, Keyshawn, what do you think the uh, special teams did to give you kind of the lanes to return ball today? And also, which one were you most annoyed at that you didn't break for a touchdown? Um, I wasn't annoyed at any of them. Um, but I couldn't have did it without all the 10 other guys on the football field. You know, I'm, I'm just returning. I'm running. Those guys are the ones doing the work for me. You know, so, you know, all hats off to those guys for all they've done, the work they put in in practice, you know, they show on the field tonight. You know, I'm proud of those guys. and Those guys get all the credit. All right, Adam. Uh, ask both of you, but if Asante, if you could answer first. I mean, I guess just on the, the most simple level, just just to win again, to be in that locker room, your teammates, your best friends, just to kind of see them smile. I mean, just uh, what's that feel like right now? Well, it's a tremendous feeling. We haven't won since the Alabama State game, so it's just like just getting that uh, that win, getting us that confidence, and just keep rolling and keep working harder, and we got to go harder and harder, and just keep pushing um, each other. Kind of like he said, not not get complacent. Um, continue to work. Continue. You got to work tomorrow. So continue to work and not get complacent and not get comfortable. Uh, obviously, enjoy this victory, but we still got work to do. We got a big opponent um, up next. If I get a follow up, just Asante, so you, you guys realize that you hadn't won since Alabama State? Like, that was in the back of your mind? I mean, that, yeah, 
I mean, yes. But it wasn't, that wasn't the main focus. But when you think about it and you really sit back and think, I mean, that's what it is. So we just got to keep going and 24 hour rule. Think about it for 20, 24 hours and just go out there and keep grinding and um, get ready for another day. All right. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you, no problem. They won. <laughs> All right. Just Jordan, or do you think someone else will come in? Just Jordan. <clears throat> Sorry, guys, I'm going to get Jordan in here in a second.